Let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have to find the value of double integration where region is bounded by parabola y is equal to 3x minus x square and a line y is equal to x. So you know that what we do, we draw the diagram first, we find the region of integration and by getting limits, we go solve the double integration. So let us try to find the region of integration. So we have, we have the first curve y is equal to, let me write here y is equal to x. So here power of x is 1, power of y is also 1. So you know that if power of both variables is 1, it represents a line. So let me write here, it is a line. To find that line, we need to have any two points on a line. So we join them and we get a straight line. Okay. So let us find any two points on a line. So I will draw one such table. Okay. Here we have values of x, values of y and the points x, y. First, I will put x is equal to 0. If I put x is equal to 0, obviously the value of y is also 0. So the point is 0, 0. Okay. So here we have a point 0, 0, right? 0, 0. And if I put y is equal to 0, again, we will have the same point, but we want some different point. So that's why I will put here x is equal to 1. If I put x is equal to 1, y also equal to 1. So the point is 1, 1. So here 1, 1 and this is 0, 0. We have to join them by a line. So we'll get a required line. Okay, let me draw that line here. So this is a given line y is equal to x. So this is y is equal to x. So let us continue. After that, we have this equation and let me write and y is equal to 3x minus x square. What is highest power of y? 1. What is highest power of x? 2. That means 100% it represents a parabola. But see, this parabola is not in its standard equation. So let us try to convert in a standard equation. See, uh, multiple of x square should be non-negative. We have a minus sign there. So to remove it, I will multiply both sides by minus 1. So we'll have minus y is equal to x square minus 3x. It will be positive and 3x will be negative. After that, we will try to adjust bracket square there. Getting so one term need to adjust. So we have a simple technique. I think in previous videos, I have already told you whatever the multiple of x, take its half and take its square. Okay, what did I say? Whatever the multiple of x we have, we have to make its half. And after that, we have to take its square. Multiple of x is minus 3. Okay, you can no need to consider minus sign 3. So its half is 3 by 2 and its square is 9 by 4. That means I'm going to adjust 9 by 4 in both sides. I'm going to add 9 by 4. So we'll have plus 9 by 4 on this side. Okay, I will do it in next step. Huh? So to avoid the confusion. So minus y plus 9 by 4 is equal to x square minus 3x plus 9 by 4. I will take minus sign outside common. So y minus 9 by 4. Okay. And this is a bracket square, you know. So this is x minus 3 by 2 bracket square. I use the formula a minus b bracket square formula. S square minus 2ab plus b square. So using that formula, I got this one. So I express this equation of parabola in its standard form. Getting So this is a parabola. Let me mention that thing here. Okay. So a parabola. This is a parabola. Okay. Parabola. So power of y is 1, that means power of y is 1, so which is, uh, that means uh, around y axis, okay, in the direction of y axis and it has a minus sign. So that's why parabola opens in downward direction in the direction of negative y axis. So let me mention a parabola opens in a direction, in a direction of negative y axis, direction of negative y axis. Okay, that means parabola will be like this. So actually, it's not a standard parabola. So it is shifted somewhere. Okay, and it's vertex and vertex at vertex at. So it's vertex at x minus 3 by 2 getting minus sign is already there. So minus sign should be there. If there it is no minus sign, we need to adjust. So x see x coordinate is 3 by 2 and y minus 9 by 4. Okay, so 9 by 4 should be. Here. So vertex at 3 by 2 comma 9 by 4. Let us find its vertex. 3 by 2. Okay. 3 by 2 that means 1.5. It will be here and 9 by 4 that means 2.25. So 
here 3 by 2 and uh, 2.25 will be here so we have vertex somewhere here okay so we have vertex here okay so this is vertex so vertex of parabola that means it goes in downward direction and at this point it takes turn okay so that is a vertex of parabola so see if i draw parabola like this okay we have to draw parabola like this but it will cut it will cut x axis at some points getting so those points we need to find first so we need to do some rough work okay i will do that rough work here so here i am going to do the rough work See, we want the point of intersection with x-axis. You know that equation of x-axis is y is equal to 0. So here I will put y is equal to 0. Let us see what will happen. So 3x minus x square is equal to 0. Since I am putting y is equal to 0, you can take x common. So 3 minus x, x is equal to 0. That means either first bracket is 0 or second one is 0. That means 3 minus x is 0 or x is 0. That means x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 0. So it cuts x axis at points 0 and x is equal to 3. So now clearly we have got an idea how we have to draw that parabola. So vertex of parabola is here. So let me mention here this is 3 by 2 comma 9 by 4 and it cuts x axis at this point 3 and 0. So I will draw a parabola now. Okay. So it will be like this. So actually it's a rough sketch but we have got an idea. Okay. So this is a parabola we have. So we should mention the equation of parabola somewhere here. So what is it? Y is equal to 3x minus x square. This is the equation of parabola, right? So see region bounded by this parabola and this line. So obviously this is a region of integration. You can easily see. So this is a region of integration. Okay. So this is a region of integration. Okay. So I have shown it here. But see that parabola and our line intersects at some point okay here also they intersect where the point is zero zero you can easily see but this is also a point of intersection so we have to find that point of intersection first and then we solve the problem see but there is no more space to write so make a screenshot of it then we will go further okay so you know well how to find points of intersection we put one equation in second equation so i'm putting the equation of line in equation of parabola let us see what will happen so x is equal to 3x minus x square okay so therefore i will take all x on one side x has a plus sign here if you shift it there it will have minus sign so 0 is equal to 3x minus x 2x minus x square you can easily say we can take x common so x 2 minus x is equal to 0 so either first bracket is 0 or first term is 0 or second bracket is 0 so therefore x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 2 let us see what will happen if x is equal to 0 if our x is 0, you can put it here, here or here, doesn't matter, it will both will give the same value. If I put x is equal to here, y is also equal to 0. So the point is 0, 0. As you can see here, that parabola and line intersect at point 0, 0. Okay, that is correct. Let us go further for x is equal to 2. So if I put x is equal to 2 here, what will be the value of y? 2 obviously since y is equal to x so y is equal to 2 so what is the point of intersection 2 2 so we got this point okay so this point is 2 comma 2 so we got the point of intersection so after that we consider a strip let us consider a strip okay let me write that thing here so consider a strip consider a strip parallel to parallel so we have two options either we can consider a strip parallel to y axis or parallel to x axis normally we consider a strip parallel to y axis but when we face any difficulty or the problem will be more difficult by considering a strip parallel to y axis then we go for parallel to x axis i think it is better to consider a strip parallel to y axis here okay so i'm considering a strip parallel to y axis so let me mention that thing here parallel to y axis so you know that when we consider a strip parallel to y axis, we write y varies from, okay, we write limits of y here and after that we write x varies from, okay, x varies from, x is equal to 2, x is equal to. So our funda is simple, bounded below, bounded above, left to right. Strip is bounded below by that line whose equation is y is equal to x. So I suppose to write y is equal to x here and strip is bounded above by a part of parabola, right? Whose equation is y is equal to 3x minus x square. So I should mention here 3x 
minus x square. I hope it is visible. 3x minus x square. After that, we have to move strip from left to right. It has to cover each and every point of region of integration. So the strip should start at this point. Okay, it, it has to move in this way. It should start at this point since it has to cover this point where the value of x is 0. The strip, strip will move like this and it will go slowly up to this point since yeah, each point should be covered. Getting so at this point, the value of x is 2. So in this way, we got limits of x and y. So now simply we can consider integration and solve. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. See, by considering limits and function, we have got this integral. Okay. So the strip was parallel to y axis. So the inner integration is with respect to y and outer integration is with respect to x. Let us solve inner integration first. Integration 0 to 2. It is with respect to y. So x and all functions of x, we will consider them as constant. x square is constant. So its integration will be x square y minus x is constant. Integration of y is y square by 2 having limits x to 3x minus x square dx. Let us put upper limit first. I am putting upper limit. So x square upper limit is 3x minus x square minus x by 2 3x minus x square whole square since y square is there. After that minus I am putting lower limit y is equal to x. So we will have x cube minus already minus sign is there. So minus minus plus I am putting x here. So this is x cube by 2. Okay. So dx. Now we have to solve it further. What will we do? We will solve those brackets. So easily we can solve the problem. So this is equal to integration 0 to 2. I am multiplying 3x cube minus x raised to 4 minus x by 2. What we have to do? We have to find first bracket square using a minus b bracket square formula. a square minus 2ab plus b square. Let us do that. So this is its square is 9x square minus 6 uh, x cube and plus x raised to 4, right? And yes, if you add, we will have minus uh, x cube by 2, okay? And dx. So let us solve it further now. Uh, so yes, let us continue here. So this is equal to integration 0 to 2. We have to simplify it first, then we will go further. So this is a uh, 3x cube uh, and this minus x cube by 2, you can solve it. So this is 5x cube by 2, 5x cube by 2. x cube you can take common, getting now how, what is the technique? 3 minus 1 by 2. So 3 minus 1 by 2 by cross multiplying 5 by 2 we will have. So this is 5x cube by 2 minus x raised to 4, okay x raised to 4. We have to multiply now. Let us see what will happen. Minus 9x cube by 2 if you take product. Okay. And minus minus plus plus 2 2 will get cancelled. So this is 3x raised to 3x raised to 4. Okay. So this is 3x raised to 4. Next uh, minus minus x raised to 5 by 2 dx. Am I right? So if you take product, so minus my minus x into x raised to 4 x raised to 5 by 2, correct. So this is equal to integration 0 to 2. So collect like powers of x. That means here x cube we have, here also x cube we have. So we can add subtract coefficients. 5 by 2 minus 9 by 2 minus 4 by 2 to, to cancel. So minus 2x cube, right? Okay. So x raised to minus x raised to 4 plus 3 x raised to 4. So by adding we will have plus 2x raised to 4 minus x raised to 5 by 2 we have dx. So let us integrate now. It is simple. It is looking simple. What is integration of x cube? It is x raised to 4 by 4. 4 to 2 will get cancelled. So minus x raised to 4 by 2 only. Its integration is x raised to 5 by 5. Integration is x raised to 6 by 6 into this to 12 with limit 0 to 2. I will put upper limit now. So if I put 2, to raise to 4, 16, 2 to cancel, minus 8. If I put 2 here, 2 raised to 5, 2 raised to 5 will be 32 into 2, 64 by 5, right? And this 2 raised to 6, see 2 raised to 6, what will I do? 16 into 4 by 12. I wrote in this way, okay? Uh, 2 raised to 6 means 2 raised to 4 into 2 raised to 2, so 16 into 4 by 12. So I will, I can cross multiply. So this is minus 40 minus so it will be 24 by 5 right so here 4 4 will get cancelled we will have 3 in denominator by cancelling so minus 16 by 3 
after that we need to multiply uh, see it will be 72 minus 80 right by 15 so by doing this calculation so this, this is minus 8 by 15 so this is a required answer you can make a screenshot of it after that we will stop thank you bye bye